Put your grace and gifts to work. Matthew chapter 25, verses 16 to 18. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. As we continue to consider the parable of the talents, we see what these three individuals did. Two of them went and put what they, have received, they had received, put it to work. They traded with it. They did something with it. Uh, Luke 19 says they engaged in business or they engaged in the, uh, in the world. They put what they had given to use uh, in order to make profit, in order to multiply it, in order to increase it. And the first person who had received five doubled it. The second person who received two doubled it. But the third person who received one did nothing with it. He just went and hid it, kept it safe, secure, but he didn't make an effort to multiply it. There is a message that the Lord wants us to get out of this story, that this parable that he's giving us. The important lesson he wants us to learn is this, that whatever grace and whatever gift, gifts God has placed on our lives, he wants us to put it to work. He wants us to do something with what has been given to us. Take what God has given you and begin to engage with it. Put it to work, develop, nurture the grace and the gifts on your life, and then put it to work, begin to do things with it. Let it begin to bear fruits. Uh, let it begin to cause multiplication, cause things to come forth uh, out of those grace and gifts that have been placed on your life. What the Lord wants us to understand is we should not do what this one individual did. So as you and I make this journey through life, we discover what God has given to us and then we begin to put it to work. Now, you can engage with the grace and gifts on your life professionally. Uh, you go to work, you uh, use the gifts, you use the abilities to engage in a certain area of society, whether it's in the sphere of education or government or media or arts or entertainment or sports or business or science or technology. Or, there's just so many, so many different areas, uh, spheres in this world that you can engage with, with what God has given you, with the grace, with the giftings, your skills, your capabilities, your own inclinations, uh, your own aptitudes. Uh, that you can begin to engage with. But as you're doing it, remember, your goal is to glorify Jesus. And your goal is to take what he's given you and to maximize what comes out of it. What comes out of the gift when we exercise the grace and the gifts that God has given to us? First, of course, we become very useful. There is productiveness that come comes out of it. That means through all that we engage with, something is being coming out that is we're contributing to the world around us. Uh, you may produce products, you may uh, render services to people, uh, you may create things that impact people's lives, that energize people, that shape their thought, that shape, that inspire them, that encourage them. There's so many different things that come out of us putting our gifts and graces to work. And as we do that, we are also doing it in a way that points people to the Lord Jesus Christ. That we are able to engage with this world, we are able to engage with people, and in the process, we are able to influence them and touch their lives for the kingdom of God. Whether directly or indirectly, that is happening. And if we are able to do that, we are able to produce, and we are also able to impact lives, we are putting to work the grace and the gifts God has given to us. However you do it, whether you are a homemaker and through what you do in your home uh, and through what you do in your circle of influence, you're being productive, you're touching lives, that could be one way. Or maybe you're out in the world of business, you're out there doing things, you're producing, you're impacting, that could be another way. But the important thing for all of us is to put it to work the grace and the gifts that are on our lives, we engage the world 
produce impact. Put it to work. Don't hide what God has given you. Let's pray. Father, we ask you for the wisdom. We ask you, Lord, for the opportunities. We ask you, Lord, for the open doors. We ask you, Lord, for access to people and places so that, God, we can put to work the grace and the gifts you've given us so that we can have impact and we can produce to bless lives. Help us to do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.